good morning everyone, it's David here and uh, we're just pulling into work and I'm just uh, arriving. I heard there was a queue, so I've come in early. Um, you might have heard me mention that we'll be doing some work on the car park and other facilities at the fishery. And I'll show you what we've done so far. The other day we put steps in, into the bank. Hang on, the camera's just focusing. We put steps in. You might have seen the photograph. We'll put one in here for you now. But we decided that wasn't the right thing to do. So what we've done is... Wow. So please don't judge a half done job. What we've done is we've come in, we've removed the bank. Allowing access for anglers and including less abled anglers. And also, the biggest bugbear I've ever had here, the wee ditch, the drainage ditch, we filled that in. It never, it never worked anyway, it didn't carry much water away, but we filled it in. And it just makes access for people less abled um, a lot easier. It'll help with drainage, and we'll get it all graveled over. And John is the man that's doing that. Yeah, he's going to be doing some work on the children's pond today as well. Um, and that's him just warming up the digger there just now. Wee mini digger, wee cute thing. We're putting a few hours on it today. Okay, everyone, we're back in the car. Um, so that's the bit of work we're doing there. Looks a great improvement. So we're going down to the children's pond now. We're making some improvements to the edging of the bank, making it considerably safer for families um, and easier to fish. So here we go. Okay, so this is one of my favourite parts of the pond of the whole site I should say. I just love the trees here, I love the enclosure, I wish the big lock was uh, like this. One of the problems with the big lock is algae in the summer and that's just because it's exposed to sunlight, it's seven acres, it's not protected and it absorbs heat at an incredible rate in knots. Down here the water comes from the main lock but we don't suffer from algae because we're protected by the trees. So this is what the children's pond looks like. It's a great wee pond. So many families have been down here and had awesome moments. In fact, I think there's a bubble float out there from last season. There you are. Can you see it? Somebody lost their bubble float to a fish and it's stuck in the weed pond there. So yeah, and currently the edge of the loch is pretty untidy after the winter. Um, you can see the banks have worn away and it's just not nice. So, while we've got the diggers in, we're going to completely redo it. And this is give you some idea of what we've got planned. So we're going to step it and edge it. So there'll be a nice safe step to come down. And a nice flat fishing surface. Okay, never judge a half done job as I say, but to give you some idea of scale. Here's my hand there. So we've taken it down about a foot and a half. And this is a nice flat section here for everyone to stand on, the kids. And along the edge here, when it's complete, there'll be a, a wooden style fencing along here. Not too high, maybe a foot, two and a half foot high to stop the kids falling over. And the nets now will be attached to chains right along the end so you don't even have to come and borrow a net from us. You can use ours and they'll be here for you. <sighs> Sorry about my ugly face, but um, yeah, I love this part of the pond. I, I love being down here. Um, see when the kids and the families are down, it's, it's just incredible. And one or two families actually go the whole hog and bring a barbecue with them and <laughs> actually do a, a, a cooking, a, a catch and cook day, which is phenomenal for the kids. Uh, a lot of them are just stunned at the fact that you can actually eat something that comes out the water and not out a plastic packet. But yeah, we love it. Um, really enjoying ourselves down here. We're going to be doing a lot of work on the water. Oh, there we go. This is just a great wee place. Let me just get you. A nice view of that. Look at it. So we'll have this by the spring all tidied up. It's a bit muddy and I've got clean trainers on. That was a mistake. Anyway, John's doing a, a, an absolutely amazing job down here. We're about halfway through the first dig, the first cut. And it will con continue right along here, making all these improvements. And we'll follow it along, right along the wee dam wall at the end here. Just to make it as safe as possible for you, your family, and for me, <laughs> and for me, because I do <laughs> worry sometimes, um, I do worry, especially when kids are involved, you know what they're like, they need to be on a harness most of the time, but yeah, so that's me doing this wee video here, I'll come back and um, bring some more footage to you as John continues with the work, but right now it's freezing cold and I'm going to jump back in the car and get away for a coffee. If I've timed this right, the kettle will be boiled. 
there's nothing worse than getting to the getting to work because we've got a a great big uh, 20 litre kettle let me, let me just pull up well look at that nicely stacked wall of logs those boys are good to me my pet hate is uh, stacking logs and um, <laughs> I try not to complain too much but the boys have done a pretty good job wow that'll be the kindling I've always said they should arrange the patterns to display the shape of a fish. I mean, I'm not asking a lot, am I? <laughs> but, yeah. Here we go. Oh, we're in. Oh, there's Peter's putting the fire on for us, kindling. Uh, there was a queue at the gate this morning, Peter. Uh, I heard I got a phone call from the digger man saying, get your backside to work. Uh, so here we are. So let's find out. Is the coffee hot? It's on. It's on. But yeah, that's the only downside to having a big kettle. In the morning, waiting on your first cup of coffee, you have to have a bit of patience. <laughs> so here we are, just signed a few people in. It's doing, the place is looking amazing, the wind's going down. Look at that, it's just beautiful. Right the way round us anglers. So I'm heading back down to the children's pond and we shall go and see what John has been up to. Now, let's just head down here and see. Oh, I'm going to have to sort that sign out. Let's have a look at this. This is what happens in the winter, it gets broken with the winds. It's just from right down there, the winds really do hammer it. And uh, yeah, that'll need to be replaced. Wow. Wait till I turn the camera around and you can see what um, what a difference he's making. I always struggle with half done jobs. I have trouble with sort of visualizing the finished uh, product in my own mind. But uh, let me just get this cap and you can see what a good job he's been doing. So excuse the dodgy camera work, but look at that. Wow. What a difference he's made here. I won't make the same mistake twice and go down and walk on it because I've got my trainers covered in mud last time. Um, you can see it's quite slimy, but this is all going to be finished off with a fence um, and gravel and tidied up. And it'll just make it really family friendly and user friendly. Um, it's just awesome what he's done actually. Doesn't take them long. These machines fair get through it when they get going. And you can also see there that he's straightening off the edge of the pond, making it look nice and neat. And once this is all done, we'll cut out the weeds, stick some dye in, throw some fish in, and stand back and wait on the kids getting all excited. Anyway, let's go and see what John is doing. All right, John, you're on camera. Make it look good. <laughs> So we're now on the outlet. Let me just get around the back of this tree. Look at him. How skillful is that? I asked him to pick up a boulder and he's got it with one go with a bucket. Incredible. Now he's going to place this just at the end there. Look at the concentration on that man's face. everything up after the winter, making sure the exits are all clear and the water's running nicely. Look at that. Look at the flow coming out. Look at the blockage here. This is all the stuff that's been washed through from the, the main lock down to here. Just doing a great job here. This will just increase the, the health of the water, the flow of the water, everything. I'll give you an idea. Watch this. Look at all that. Somebody's left a carrier bag in there. Other bits of wrappers. Please take your rubbish home with you. Look at that. Phenomenal. We're, we're going to carry on and come back with more footage when we get round to the next bit. There we are, so I'm just heading back up to the office for a well one cup of coffee. Look at this already. Wow. You can actually start to see what it is we're trying to do. Good on you, John. So this will all be gravelled up, or I might even grass it, I don't know. Put a fence in. Happy families. 
always thinking of you, always trying to find time to do the, the wee jobs. You can never do it all at once. I thought you can probably hear the wind, but that's me uh, heading back up to the... Oh, my cab's on squinty, yeah? Heading back up to the office and uh, see if there's any more megas to wear. Peter's just... Uh, oh, 16.3. Oh, yeah. oh, who's done it? Hold on. Did, did he pay the pound? No. Oh, he never paid the pound? No. Oh, no. Look at that. David's got... A 16.2 and he's got the star next to his name which means he paid the pound um, and the winner of the heaviest fish of the month wins all those one pounds. George has just been on the water a few minutes and had a 16.3 on his third cast and didn't pay his pound. So as lovely a fish as it is, <laughs> oh, oh dear, nice photographs. Oh was that a nice fish? And was George excited? Was he was he happy? Oh, with, was he happy with that? Was he? Uh, well, f finger he crossed. He took his heart off for the photograph. He never did. He off. never took his heart off. And I had to call the makeup department. Oh, it would be a big job that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peter's just shown me photographs of this sixteen pounder. <gasps> oh. Then I'll get back to it. It looks huge, Pete. Oh, that's up, Pete. I, 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 when you said you had a big one, I didn't realise it was quite that big. Wow. Look at the girth on it. Uh, <laughs> wow. 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 Uh, I've had to come away from the digger because uh, we just had some great news about a customer catching a, a 16.3 pound fish. Here he is. Well, Gio, there's a vicious rumour going around that you've just caught a 16.3 pound fish. Yes, I'm afraid after eight years of trying, I got a mega. And Thank you very much, David. Do you want to know? I think you may need to change your girlfriend. Why? She didn't pay the pound for the heaviest fish. The heaviest fish was £16.2 and you beat it by an ounce. Oh, that's, that's cost you over a hundred quid! <laughs> that's grounds for divorce! So there's Gio's girlfriend there. This young lady signed Gio in the day but she didn't pay the extra pound, uh, unfortunately. And Gio's first fish was a staggering £16.3 cash, win cash pot winning fish, Gio. And well done for keeping a smile on your face. <laughs> I'd, love to, be, I'd love to be I'd love to be a fly in the wall in the car on the way home. <laughs> but on the plus side, you're getting a super mega mug, so. Oh, wait, that's not so bad. Yeah. And you can only hope that someone else beats it before the end of the month. Yeah. Oh, it's quite good because the guy down the bottom got one first cast with a 30 pounder, so... Do you kind of, the, the, the thing is, he, he was on his third cast and you were on your third cast. Third cast. Uh, you couldn't make that up. No. That's incredible. No. And then after getting your backside handed to you in a plate last week, um, yes, I did. by someone who we won't video, mention... David, Here, I'm beginning to think you've got something against you, Gio. <laughs> Well, that's fantastic. I'm so yes, pleased for you. What, what a way to turn it round. We are just broken good news and bad news to Gio. And uh, fantastic fish though. Hopefully I'll get a bigger one today, you never know. There's plenty of them out there. So I'm just about to go back to the tea and uh, catch up with you all soon. There we are, that's me uh, back up in the car park with John. Hey, you are John, how was that for you today? Fantastic. You enjoy that? Well, it's, it's going to make a big difference to the fishery, don't you think? Yes, absolutely. And John's going to come back with something a, a bit bigger. Anyone who knows me knows I'm all about size. And this is a beautiful digger and he's done a fantastic job. But some of the work we've got planned coming up needs something a bit more meaty. So stand by for a video later on where John will be up doing some work on the car park. Uh, John, do you hire this out? What, with an operator? Yeah. So if somebody wants to do what we've done today, they can just book you? Yes, I uh, yeah, just hold up. Today. And do you know your phone number offhand? Yeah. Absolutely. Go on then, John. Yes. What is it? No pressure. 07715 Well, we shall put a link on here for you all and uh, come back and watch another video soon and you'll see what John gets up to next time he's here with a big digger.